guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is justina and here i like to make create and inspire fun art things with you through my diys as you see today by the title i have more christmas diys for you with dollar tree items but in the theme the grinch now i know i have been away for a couple weeks now i am getting over a severe strep throat infection and my throat is still a little sore so i am going to do my best to explain my DIYs for you today but nonetheless today's DIYs are super cute awesome and fun to do remember friends if you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed all you have to do is click on that big red subscribe button down below it is totally free and I would love to have you part of our virtual art family if you already a subscriber thank you so much for being here I really hope you enjoyed today's video but don't forget to smash that thumbs up button it really does help out my channel with all that being said let's just jump right into it and and let's art today. Today's DIYs are inspired by this Grinch train set that my children got last year for Christmas and this year we are finally able to take it out and set it up. It is super adorable. It comes with all these little carts and the Grinch inside one of them and they absolutely love it. Now I will give you a sneak peek of what that looks like at the end of the video. So make sure you stick all the way to the end so you don't miss that. Now I do have two Christmas trees that I decorate every year but this year is my first year of decorating it in the Grinch theme. So moving on to our first DIY. wanted to make some jumbo candy for my Grinch tree. Now I have four of these paper towel rolls. You can have these in your house. I'm pretty sure we get rid of them every week. So I have four of them but I'm just going to show you two of them how I decorated. The second thing is uh, some wrapping paper. Now I purchased this at Walmart for 2 dollars It is super thick and you get a lot for your buck. However, Dollar Tree does sell wrapping paper that you can use for this DIY also. All I needed to do was roll out enough to cover my paper towel rolls and all I'm doing is just wrapping it onto the paper towel roll so I know exactly how much I need for each of the candies and then I will cut it out using just a pair of scissors. Now the reason why I'm making jumbo candy for my Grinch tree is that in every Grinch movie that we watch, which is the animated one and the other one with um, Jim Carrey. Now, they always have these large candy-like decorations in the movies. Even in the animation one, they have it all over their houses and sometimes in their trees. So I just really wanted to add that to my tree this year. Now, the next thing I needed to do was measure my paper towel roll again, just the length of it so I know exactly where to cut, and then cut that down to size as well. Now there's so many ways that you can wrap your um, paper towel rolls, but I am just going to use regular scotch tape. Now you can hot glue it if you want to, or even use some packing tape, whatever works for you, you can use, but this is such an easy DIY to do because all you need is just stuff that you will probably have around your house around this time of year if you celebrate Christmas. Now, um, just adding some on the inside so that the roll doesn't undo itself, and then I'm adding a little bit on the outside. Now that I have the base of it, I did do a second one, like I said, with the same wrapping paper. Now I wanted to make the candy ends like the little candy has a twisted end at it and I'm going to use this crafter square foam that I purchased from Dollar Tree years ago I can't even remember so I'm not really sure if they still have some of these but you can always find foam in Walmart or another crafting store and um, still do the same DIY. Now the small foams from Dollar Tree are not long enough for my liking so I did add two of the same color together with some hot glue and then glued those right down the crease as you see here. Now that I have my foam piece the length that I like it I am just going to start folding it onto itself using the accordion fold method and it's about a half an inch to an inch thick until I get to the very end. And after I have it where I like it, now it's time to glue the one of the end pieces to itself. And once again, I'm just using a little bit of hot glue. Now I suggest using a low temperature hot glue because this tends to be really thin 
thin and it does melt onto itself. So I would use the low setting if you have one. After I have two of them completed, it is now time to attach them to our paper towel roll. And once again, I'm just using some hot glue. Now mine was on the hot setting, so I was really scared of burning my finger. That's why I keep dropping it, but I'm adding it to the front of the paper towel roll, holding it into place until it had time to dry. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the second end of my paper towel roll, or which is now our large piece of candy. Now, since this is a Grinch theme candy, I really wanted to add a little bit more cartoon like to this candy. So I'm taking another one of those foam um, sheets and I'm cutting out some circles that are in this bright green which I thought would work perfectly since the Grinch is green. Now I'm just taking a pair of scissors and I'm freehanding it but you can also draw some circles onto your thing and then cut it out which I did also because I wasn't getting a perf perfect circle. After I have enough of them cut out, I am going to hot glue it right down to the ends of my little candy wrapper here in various places and in no shape or form in any type of pattern. The very last thing I needed to do was add some outlining to those circles that we just added on just to give it another feel of a cartoon like candy since this is Grinch theme everything has such big character but once that was done that completes this DIY For the second one, I did add green foam to the ends of it, and I just love how it turns out. They are super adorable and can't wait to decorate my tree. Now, moving on to our next DIY, I have some of these foam circles that I had from a previous project. I made a punch out game for kids where they punch out a cup and win the prizes. So I had some of these circles left over, but you can always use some cardstock if you have that on hand. Next, I had printed out some um, labels from my printer, but you can always just handwrite these or even use stickers from Dollar Tree. I also used my cutting machine to cut it. I finally got a silhouette from my spouse, um, but you can just use a pair of scissors like I showed you with using my fingers. Next, I'm just going to peel this off and just place it right onto that circle because this is sticker paper. Now you can just use regular paper, printer paper, or craft paper and then use some glue, a glue stick, a Mod Podge, whatever you like, and then place it right on top of the circle. You can even use those circles from the Crafter Square, those wooden ones that everybody uses for Christmas time. I think that would be perfect too. Now I just use some of the words or sayings that they use in the movie. So that one says stink, stink, stunk. This one is prickly X as a cactus and I do use the same um, text on both sides just in case if they flip over and this one says loathe entirely. For added detail I have some of these Mardi Gras beads or Christmas beads. They carry them in Dollar Tree pretty much all year long at least at my Dollar Tree they're usually around the party section the birthday party section but this time these were in a four pack in their Christmas section so I just grabbed one of those and I am going to wrap it around my little ornament and cut it down to size to where I like it. As you see here, it just changes the ornament so it doesn't look so flimsy or cheap. And to add it on to the little foam circle, I am just using some hot glue to hold it into place. Once again, I am just adding it right onto the little foam piece and I'm trying to get it as centered as possible because I do want the top piece to also be the hanging part where you put it onto the tree. And I'll just keep adding hot glue all the way around until the beads are attached. After I have them glued all the way around, I am just trying to figure out how I want the hanging part to be. I thought I would loop it onto itself right there, but instead I just added more glue and then I'm going to loop it onto itself right at the very end so it can be our hanger. 
And lastly, I just wanted to add a little red bow right on the top just to give it another bit of detail. And I believe this just brings it all together and that completes this DIY. I love that you can make a bunch of these because there are so many things that the Grinch says and you can just have them all around your tree and with a lot of these crafts you can find most of this stuff in your crafting stash. Moving on right on to our next DIY. I am going to repurpose this little sack that I made last year or the year prior and if you haven't seen that video I'll make sure to link it here and in the description box below. The second thing for this DIY I am going to use this little cloth that is in their automotive section at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to remove the tag and I'm going to add it to a bowl of water that I have here. It's just regular water because I actually want to to dye this little cloth here. Now I do not have a real dye so instead of using um, dye that you can buy at the store I'm just using things that I have on hand which is paint. I have this neon green paint in my stash and some chalk paint that I'm going to use too. This is my home decor folk art chalk paint in the color Irish green and I'm just going to add it right onto the little cloth and the water inside of the bowl. Now I wasn't too sure if this was going to work because I never done this before so this was a learning curve for me. Now I do want to mention it is good to damp your cloth at first but you don't need as much water as I do that I do have here. I do add more paint to it and then I'm just going to rub it into the cloth as much as possible. Also, I do believe if you use a plain tea rag instead of this cloth, it would soak in the paint a little bit more. Nonetheless, I really loved how the texture came out on this cloth because I really wanted this to be the Grinch's skin or fur for this DIY. Once again, I'm just rubbing in the paint as much as possible and then I'm going to sit that outside to dry completely. I highly suggest you don't use your laundry dryer to dry this because it is paint and I don't want you to ruin your stuff so that's why I put mine outside. While that is drying it's now time to move on to the next portion of this DIY which is this little sack that I made like I said last year or the year prior and I am going to measure it out using this pool noodle. Now the the pool noodle I am going to use also these are going to be the legs of my Grinch and the sack part is going to be the bottom half of his body because we are making a half of a Grinch sticking out of my Christmas tree. I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of those on Pinterest and that's where I got my inspiration. So I wanted to make them with Dollar Tree products. Now after I got the size that I like, I'm just using a nice pair of scissors and cutting the fabric down to size. And then I'm going to flip that fabric inside out so that I can hot glue it in place. Now if you want to sew this project by all means you can sew. I did not want to pull out my sewing machine to um, sew it into place so I'm just using the hot glue method which is you just add a bead of hot glue down to the side that you want to stitch or glue into place and then press down firmly and it holds nicely. I do use a Gorilla Glue Stick and it holds everything into place. After I have the line in I'm just going to flip it back inside out and then push it down firmly. Now I have this piece of paper that I glued on um, when I made the sack previously so I'm just going to rip that off. Now I'm pretty sure I used a Gorilla Glue stick to hold it down because the glue portion did not want to come off that fabric whatsoever. However that is going to be the back side of my project so I am not worried about it. Now it's time to make the legs of our Grinch. So once again like I mentioned I am taking a pool noodle folding it in half and cutting it down to size. Now depending on how big or small you want your Grinch that is the size you will go with but I really wanted mine to be really large. So I added the pool noodles right back into his little body because I wanted to measure out how much of his legs are going to be shown and since my fabric is nice and dry it is now time to wrap his legs in it and I really loved how the texture of this came out. It's rough just like his fur in the movie so it really looks like his legs 
which is super cool. Now to attach the fabric onto the pool noodle, once again, I am using my hot glue gun, but you can always use a stronger glue like E6000 or super glue. I believe even some Mod Podge probably would hold this into place, but you would have to use a lot of it. But for video purposes and for my personal use, I just like to use my hot glue gun. Now I want to mention if you do use a hot glue gun, please use the low setting if you have one because I use the high setting and it did start it to melt so I did have to click that over to the lower setting and then glue it down. Now I am just going to roll it like a little burrito right onto itself and then glue the other end of the portion right on top of the other end as you see here push down and hold it until it dried next since I wanted to cover the bottom ends of it I did leave a little bit of the fabric hanging off and all I did was take the fabric and push it into the hole of the pool noodle which worked perfectly and it held it in securely I did do the same thing for the other leg and this is how they turned out I think it's that's absolutely adorable that they kind of look like the Grinch's legs. Now that I have the legs done, I needed to make some feet. So I have some of this really thick red felt that I purchased from the 99 cent store. But once again, you can purchase felt from any craft store. I am going to um, sketch out a foot and then cut it out. I am free drawing it, but you can always find a stencil on Google and then use that to trace it out, but I am just freehanding it. I do make this foot a little bit smaller, so I did have to resize it and make it a little bigger, and I'm just using a pair of scissors to cut it out. In the lifelike movie, he does have red shoes, but in the animation movie, he does have black shoes. So whichever felt color you wanna use for his shoes, you can change it up with that. Now I'm just using some white felt which is just um extra felt from the little sack that I use for his body and I'm cutting it down to size to make the little white portion of his shoe. Once again I am using my hot glue gun on the low setting to attach this to the top of his shoe. Like I mentioned before I did make the shoe a little bit small so I had to resize it and then add it to the extra fabric. Now to make his body a little bit poofy, I'm just using some leftover grocery bags that I have in my house and then add the legs right into the little pouch here, which is now his body. Now I didn't completely wrap the whole pool noodle in the green fabric because you won't be able to see it. So I am just sticking it in and to apply it to the little sack or his body portion, I'm just using a little dollop of hot glue and holding it in to place until it is nice and secure. Then I had a little bit of extra green fabric that I'm just going to place in the bottom of his bottom to cover that little hole area so it looks like his body is still there. The last thing I needed to do was add on his shoes and since this is just a little 2D, I am just going to add it right on top of the pool noodle. Now you can always add shoes that wrap around. I'm pretty sure Dollar Tree does carry little socks that have the little poofy part on on it so you can always use that or have those little stockings but after that was done that completes this DIY. Here is how my little Grinch turned out. Since he is just a half portion body, all you have to do is tuck him into your tree and use your tree branches to hold him into place. And it turns out like this. Now you can place him any direction you would like. I like him falling into our tree and our kids just love it. But this has to be my favorite DIY in today's video. right into our next DIY which is the easiest I have this arrow and I have other arrows that I will use too and I'm just going to start off by giving it a nice coat of my folk art home decor chalk paint in the color Irish green making sure to get all of the edges as well because these are going to be some large signs for my Christmas tree after that I place that to the side to dry completely and like I said I have other arrows 
arrows. This is from a different DIY that I've done many years ago. Um, if you have seen that, I'm just recycling these because I want to use everything that I have on hand instead of buying brand new things. I want to cover those using scrapbooking paper. I love using scrapbooking paper for a lot of my DIYs because it's so easy. You get this really pretty font or picture and you can just glue it right down. So first I needed to sketch out how much of the paper I needed to use um, just using a pencil and then I will cut that out down to size. Well, if you do not have scrapbooking paper, you can always use gift wrapping paper like we did with one of our DIYs today, but nonetheless, it still comes out pretty much the same. Now to attach my paper to my arrow, I am using my hot glue gun. You can always use Mod Podge, you can use Elmer's glue, and even a stick glue if you prefer that way. I like using my hot glue gun on these projects because it goes by super quick and it adheres down nicely. After I was done placing both of my papers onto the arrows, it is now time to decorate each one. This is how they look, and I did not cover the back of these because I was in a rush, but I will do that later on. Now I am going to add stickers right on top of it for my sign and once again I am using my silhouette portrait. I got, received this as a gift from my spouse and I am so grateful. However Dollar Tree does carry poster stickers and all different types of sticker letters that you can use for the same project so don't feel like you need to go out and buy a cutting machine. By all means use what you have on hand. You can even just hand draw the letters on. I do not like my handwriting, so I just use what I have on hand and I'm going to place the stickers on one by one. Then for added detail, I'm just taking a red Posca paint marker. And I'm just making some lines on the outer edges of my arrow here. Now you can decorate this however you like, but I just wanted to add just a little bit more detail because I just love how this turned out and simplicity is sometimes the best way to go. After I was done, I did the exact same thing to the other two signs. I just use different fonts. I'm just pulling off the letters and sticking them right onto the little little arrow and then I wanted to outline some of those letters as well for each one. Now each one had a different font like I mentioned but I did the exact same thing and then once I was done placing each sticker on the sign and painting on them all I needed to do was stick them in my tree and that completes this DIY. Well, friends, that completes today's DIYs. I really enjoyed making all of these. I would love to know which one was your favorite down in the comment section below because my favorite would have to be the half body of the Grinch, but I really enjoyed making all of them. They came out super cute and I am so excited to decorate this tree. I was really trying to make oversized ornaments for this tree because like I mentioned earlier in the Grinch movies, they always go all out and they're very bold and very cartoon like so that is what I'm trying to make for this year now if you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed I hope you do that today all you have to do is click on the big red subscribe button down below it is totally free but don't forget to smash that bell notification so that YouTube can always notify you every time I upload a new video if you're already a subscriber thank you so much I do appreciate each and every one of you being here if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it really does help out my channel thank you so much much for being patient with me these past couple weeks I have been really sick but I am trying to feel much better and get back into the groove of things because I feel like I am so behind on my Christmas decor if you would like to see me decorate this Grinch Christmas tree leave me a comment down below I would love to know and set that up for you thank you all for watching I really hope you enjoy and as always I will see you in the next one Thank you.